What's up, everybody? Welcome to the show. This is going to be another Delta Force video, and we can finally, pretty much without a shadow of a doubt, confirm the monetization system for the game. Shout out to TJ. He's put in a lot of work for this. I'm going to leave a link to his channel in the description below. Also join the Caliber Collective. That'll be in there as well. Listen, I'm just going to hop into the video. No fancy intro. Let's just do it. There is going to be a pretty in-depth monetization system for Delta Force. I do not see it so far as scammy, any type of pay to win. Everything is going to be strictly cosmetic, which they did confirm. But the depth at which you can go to get money or money equivalent of a premium currency by playing is extravagant. I think it's a really good system. A lot of grinders are going to want to play to to build up their account value and things like that. But let's just hop into the video so you can kind of see what I'm talking about. Let's go ahead and just focus on the two main currencies right now, which is going to be triangle coins. We'll call those the premium gold currency, basically what you're using your money to get. That's one way or exchanging them. And I'll get into that in just a second. The other coin is the Mandelbrick coins, the Mandel coins, the bronze coins, whatever you want to call them. A lot of this stuff might be lost in translation, so I'm not sure exactly what they're going to name it. But let's just say there's there's two. There's one that you can buy with money to buy premium skins that you cannot find in the game. Battle passes, I'm sure. Things like that. And then there's another that you earn by selling skins, Mandelbricks, open Mandelbrick skins, you know, and the example we're going to have here is the Prism Offensive Transparent M4 skin and different variations of that. And I'll get to that in a minute as well, like the rarity and durability or whatever that stuff is kind of like CSGO. But I want to give you just a quick example of how this is going to play out. You load into a raid, you have a good raid, you get out with a Mandelbrick, it's sitting in your stash. You have a few options. You can sell that Mandelbrick as is for these bronze coins. You're going to have a solid market, you get to see volume, price action, you can list your price and you can make that or buy it. You can buy Mandelbrick straight up like this. So that's one option. You can make your currency that way. Again, these are a one-to-one -one exchange from the premium currency. That could be 196 gold coins, triangle coins that you've exchanged for this Mandelbrick coin. So if someone was buying that, they can get themselves a skin that you earned by playing the game, being good, extracting with it, etc. Now, that's the basic premise of selling the closed Mandelbricks, again, unopened. The Mandelbricks themselves are going to have a rarity, which you should already know. There's going to be rarity differences, chances of what types, depending on the season, what they have in, different events, I'm sure. Everything like that calculated into the opening. Okay, and again, this I want you to focus on this part right here because this is the the hook on what they're going for, I think, as far as monetization. So people will spend money instead of trying to play so they can skip the line and get the skins they want and make the character they want, etc. So when you open a Mandelbrick, y'all probably saw this in the test before. There's going to be percent chances of skins. The example we have here is 2.36% chance for the two guns on the bottom and then a 0.3% chance for, I guess, the rarest of the current Mandelbrick that you have have, which will be the M4 Prism Offensive. And then you'll have options for high quality gear, other skins, different ammo, things like that, which I'm sure y'all have seen if you've been keeping up with the game. On the happenstance that you do open some rarer skins that you might not like, but you know are valuable, this is where the game gets fun to me. Whatever you open and, and whatever you decide to list, it will have a quality and a serial number. So just to play the extreme for fun, you happen to open the Prism Offensive high quality 001 serial number, and it's going to be worth X. You can then list that, use it, whatever you want to do, but it's going to be sitting there for you to make an a choice with to make currency. Here's the cool thing about this image. These guns right here are listed in the gold currency. So we believe there to be a one-to-one -one exchange both ways. So if you play the game, you're good enough at the game, you get out with the Mandelbricks, you're farming, you're grinding, you can build up an account value that's equal to people spending whatever money, dollar amount, for the same stuff. And there's going to be different qualities of that skin that you can sell for a higher price, lower price, depending on what type of quality they are. So just for easy example, these skins are going for $3.99, $5, $5.20, $5.50, $5.50, $5.50, $5.50, $5.50, $5.50, $5.50, $5.50, $5.50, $5.50, $5.50, $5.50, $5.50, $5.50, $5.50, $5.50, $5.50, $5
how often you can buy and sell the products on the market. Similar to the flea market in Tarkov and having things listed, there might be like a cooldown phase, so you can't just scalp everything and, and do stuff like that, probably to pre prevent hacking and any type of issues they might run in with that. It's, it's a pretty good system to have something like that just to slow it down. So one of the cool things, this is speculation, one of the cool things that I hope they do is they're going to take each season and hopefully cut off the skin spawning the same skins. I'm going to try to talk to the developers at some point if I can, because as we all know with inflation and things like that, value goes up over time if no more can be made of it. Supply and demand, right? So a pretty cool idea that I thought would be useful with this system is after every season, have a premium skin or a few that you will never see again in a raid the rest of the time that the servers are up. It is the skin of the season. It is very high demand. It's the prestigious thing that everybody's chasing for or buying. You know, you, you get through 10 seasons and you wanna have that one skin that represents each season in your stash. I hope they cut off the supply to a few skins every single season, but leave them exchangeable on the market. I mean, that would be dope, right? Like seeing the original skins of the game grow in value over time and those who are holding on to them having decisions since they got the skin, earned the skin, whether they bought it early or got it in a mandel brick themselves to be rewarded for that and be able to sell it for a higher price would be pretty cool. I don't know if the operator skins are going to be in these mantle bricks or anything like that. Those might just be premium skins that are on their market, which I'm sure they're going to do that a lot. But yeah, guys, you strictly buy straight up the gold currency, which is a one to one exchange for the mantle brick coins. And those coins can be earned in game by selling your stuff that you earn by playing, being good, extracting, things like that. I believe they're onto something really good here because the human psyche with opening and rarity and gambling. And, and the mode already itself, you know, the extraction shooter is a gamble in itself to actually take that into now being rewarded with a percent chance of getting these high quality things that you can hold on to and sell amongst each other. And then exchanging those currencies, I think is a really unique system and I'm excited to try it out. I don't know if anything like this is going to be in implemented in the, in the uh, Steam Fest coming up next week for the game. But if it does, it, it's going to be pretty cool to uh, try out. Anyways, guys, if you have any questions, concerns, comments, let me know what you think down below. I'll respond to everybody, kind of give my feedback as well. If you enjoyed the video, you know what to do. And I will catch you guys on the next video. Thank you.